Hi everybody, I'm Gabby and welcome back to Tailored Owned. Today I have got for you a small weight Spartan Pilates inspired workout. For this workout you are going to be needing something that weighs around 1 kilograms. You could probably go from 0.5 to 1.5 kilograms. If you don't have small weights at home, don't worry. You can grab yourself some cans, you can grab a hold of an old wine bottle, fill it up with water and you can vary the weights of the wine bottle. If you're not here, subscribe, do that right now press the bell to get notified every single time I upload. I upload brand new workouts every single week. Also give me a follow on my Instagram. I am at Taylor Toad. Okay, let's get straight to the bit. You're gonna bring your hands into a prayer position. I want you to keep your hips in neutral. You're gonna inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, keep those hips to me and you're gonna to rotate to the side. Bring it back through the center, keep those hips to me. You're gonna to rotate to the other side. Bringing those hands down, give yourself a big shoulder roll back. And back then, two forwards, inhale forwards, inhale forwards, bend down, grab a hold of your weight, bring your elbows to your waistline, out through those fingertips, take a bend through the knees, straight in towards your leg lifts, let's go, so we go up, go lift, 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 little nod to Lottie Burke here, taking those leg lifts, bend through the knees, bring those toes in front. We lift, now start to draw the belly button towards your spine, start to elongate that crown of the head towards the sky and prepare yourself for this next burning 23 minutes. Now you're gonna go ahead, bring those arms in towards the V as you scoop the legs out. Quite fast paced here. If you don't wanna add those arms, don't worry, just bring them here stationary. It's up to you which option you take. Just let's start to raise that heart rate. We go up, we go lift and lift. You have eight more, seven, six, then stop moving the legs, but keep moving the arms. Feet under the hips, in two, in one. Go out, out, Woo. out. Getting into that first burn already. Reaching those fingertips out, keep the shoulder roll backwards and down. And you wanna keep moving, serve those arms in front of yourself, into a V, go five. Four, elbows tight in, in three, in two, in one, elbows tight in. We're gonna come up, come down halfway. Lift up, down halfway. Tap up to the shoulders, drop down. Tap, lift, and drop down. You get a little bend through those knees going on. We lift up, drop down. You've got five more of these. Four more here, drop. You've got three that we're switching. You've got two to the change. Now last one, we go, push, pull. Push, pull. So we're toning those front body muscles. Send those palms together. Lengthen those hands out to me. Squeeze in. So we go palms to the sky, palms facing each other. You've got three. You've got two. Last one, arms out. You're gonna take little tiny miniature bend presses away. Stay there. If you've got those cans, wrap those fingertips around the cans. Got those wine bottles, wrap those fingertips around. We go bend press. Then press. You've got 10, then we're going down to the floor. Go eight, go seven, roll those shoulders down, pull the abs in five. Go four more, three, two, one. To the floor, drop the weights down, modified version. You're gonna come here to the knees. Advanced version, tuck those toes, lift the knees off. Now you're gonna bring your left foot round, reach, down, step back. Other foot down, reach, down, step back. So you're going in towards a lunge twist here. This is option one. If you're A-OK -okay with that, keep going. We're mobilizing those hip joints. Be really mindful of your hips today. Sweet. If you want option two, for that little modified option, you're gonna come down to the knees, bringing it round, reaching it up, then down and safely back. Or you can come halfway here and just hold your plank position. Pick your option. We sweep it back. Three more round, reach, down, back, two more round, reach, down, back, one more round, reach, down, now back and hold, find your plank, so if you're in that box position, go ahead, try tucking the toes, try lifting those knees away from the floor, find your straight arm plank and stay there, inhale and exhale, you've got eight, then drop those knees, go seven, go six, drop the knees in five, in four, in three, in two, in one, drop the knees, Sweep the feet round towards the front. Bring those arms forwards. C curve and hold. Now back to those little tiny bend reaches. 
forwards. Forwards, you're not here for long, you've got 45 seconds remaining, then we're gonna go in towards your first bicep. Talking through this position, we're in a Pilates C curve. Shoulders above the knees, you've got the letter C actively going on with your spine. You've got your hip bones tucking in towards your ribs. You want to press, guide your lumbar spine down towards the floor and keep those arms moving in front of yourself. Three, two, option stay here, modification advancement up and down. We lift up, lower down, like you're drawing your hands around one of those timers where you go up. So you know those sun timers you can get? You're drawing your hands around one of those, but a big version up and down. You've got seven to your first bicep. Six, five, four, three. Grab the weights in two, one. Lift up, you're gonna grab a hold of your weights, jump back to workout today. Sweep the feet round towards the back. You're gonna bring yourself into a hinge position, knees over the top of the hips, toes back. You're gonna lunge back, see how that feels, and bringing it forwards again. So we lunge back, like our body's an ironing board, inclining back. We sweep back, keep the abs in, keep it strong. Now option here, we're gonna squeeze back, take a little bicep curl, inhale, exhale, forward. So we sweep it back, we sweep it forwards again. Inhale, exhale, sweep it back. Connect those weights to the shoulders, bringing it forwards again. So the burn here should be in the front of your thighs. We sweep it forwards. Three more like this. We sweep back. We go forwards. You've got two more hinge. We hinge it back. We hinge it up. One more. We hinge it back. We hinge it up. Now connect your toes together. We go. Drop the hips, lift the hips. Drop the hips, lift the hips down, so we're taking a bicep curl, just like we did in that first five minutes, that warm up, you're taking that same thing, but now your weights go to the shoulders, and you press your hips, Woo. up, you've got five more here, four more, we've got three more, keep going, go two toes together, last one, now drop the hips to the heels, you're going to bring those arms just in front of yourself, hips to the right, punch to the right, hips to the left, right, punch to the left, other side, Punch, punch, you're taking a little hip hitch to the side, punch, hips rock, hips rock. Don't let your hips touch your heels, just take a little tip to the side. Thigh down to this accordion bar, you've got seven, six, you've got five, four, three, then right foot forwards, in two, in one. Lift right foot forwards, we go, in, tap back, in, tap back. Quite a fast paced one today, tap back. In, option, in, tap, in, tap. So now you're working your triceps, biceps, you're working that thigh too. In, tap, modified version, take it slower. We come in, push, in, push, in, press, in, press. Eight, seven, six, and back to thighs on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Thighs on the floor, this way, toes together, lift. Pull this time, lift. Pull this time, lift. Pull, lift up, shoot those weights forward. Squeeze the glutes together at the top and let the glutes touch your hips. Lift, toes together, untuck the toes if they're tucked under. We fire up, fire up, pull down. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, drop those hips, now tuck, little tuck. Little Give me five tucks, four them full range, three them full range, two, one. Woo! I am burning like mad. Punch, pull, squeeze the glutes, drop the hips down, toes together, open through those knees. The burn here should be in the front of your thighs. A little arm burn going on too. Lift, pull, four more, three the waist to chest. To them, waist to chest, last one. Lift up, waist to chest, drop their hips. Little tuck, little tuck. You're inverting, hips into your belly button, squeezing under, we go tuck, tuck. So this is your modified version. If you want it harder, we incline back, you tuck it. Eight, seven, left foot forward in five, tuck, three, two, one. Oh my golly, lift up. Bring it in, squeeze in, tap, in, tap. You'll be happy to know 
This is the final push for your thighs. Push, in, tap back. Keep your front knee bent. Keep those elbows anchored to the waist. Keep pulling your belly button away from that front thigh. Bend that front leg. Tap that foot back. If your front knee is not bent, you won't feel the thighs. So bend that front leg. Option here. Do you want to work a little bit harder with me on Taylor Tone today? Let's go. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Elbows anchor to the waist. Go back in, back in, back in. This is the end of your thighs today. And then we're going straight down towards the floor. In some booty Tony work. Back, back, back. End of your first 10 minutes with me. You are out in a final. 10, bend that front knee deeper. Eight, seven, six, anchor those elbows. Go five, push it, four, three, two, one. Drop down, drop yourself down. Bring those weights to the floor. You're gonna send your right weight to the side of yourself and make sure you've got your other weight in between your hands. Nose down, bring in here your left foot into the center, left knee to the center, sorry. And then you're gonna go ahead. Lift this leg up and away from the floor. Tap it down, lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. We go slowly down. Now from here, I want you to transfer your weight into your right hand. See how that feels. It takes the pressure off that support inside the seat, right? And make sure your hips are square. So maybe switch off your foot. So my foot isn't pointed here, it's not flexed. It's switched off so I can focus more on connecting with my glute. We go press up. We go take it down. Now balance something on your back and don't let it fall off. Your torso is strong, still and stable. We go lift and press. We go take it down. We go lift and press. We go take it down. You've got three to give me. Lift and press, I know. We go drop it down. Two to give me. We lift and press. We go down again. One more. Lift, press and hold. Now bring your weight into your left hand. You're gonna shoot that arm away from the floor. Squeeze everything in together and exhale, press. Too much with the upper body. Feel like you're gonna damage yourself. Ditch the weight, so I'm gonna show you what to do. Just ditch the weight and reach the arm and leg long. If you want the advancement, feeling a-okay in that upper body, we squeeze in, we exhale, press. We squeeze it in, we go exhale, push and press. Give me three, inhale in, you can do it. Go exhale, press and reach, give me two. Inhale in, draw the belly button in nice and tight and press one more, inhale in. Now exhale, push and reach. You're gonna float this weight behind your seat. Lift the weight above the seat. We're gonna pulse the arm and the leg at the same time. Pulse, pulse. Can you shimmy your weight on above your glutes? Can you really focus on that core connection? Focus on that burnout through the right side of seat. You're pulsing the leg and the arm at the same time. Lift your 20 seconds of pulsing. And then we're switching sides, lift, lift. You have 10, nine, eight. You've got seven, other side coming up. Don't give in now, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, drop it down. Give that wrist a little roll out. Straight to other side. So now go ahead, float your left leg back, lift all the way up. You're gonna drive your weight to your left hand and slightly ease those fingertips away from the ground. So you're really driving here, your left hand down. Inhale down, exhale push. Inhale down, exhale push. Sweep that toe down. Can you keep your hips nice and square? The support inside of the body, which is this side, the right side, is pushed up against a big pane of glass. Your shoulder and your hip and your toe is in a straight line. You have your abs pulling away from your mat. You have your belly button tight to your spine. You are closing your ribs together. We are working together on our glutes. We push, we inhale down. We exhale, push one more together and then we're gonna add that way. We squeeze and lift. Now grab the weight if you want, don't take the weight. Inhale, squeeze in. Woo! Press and lengthen. Squeeze it in. That weight adds that little extra challenge here. If you've got those wine bottles, the fuller those wine bottles are, wow, the harder it is. Squeezing in. 
We exhale, push, lengthen, squeezing it in. We go, exhale, press, squeezing it in. Can you keep your back flat the whole time? Squeezing that knee in, press and push. You've got four more here. Well, we go press and push. Three, squeezing it in. Go exhale, push. Two more, squeezing it in. Press and lengthen everything out. One more, let's go. Press, now hold. If you've got the toe tucked under on that right side, try and release that foot. Now you're gonna sweep that weight behind yourself. Lengthen the elbow, flip the palm to the sky. A little tiny, pulse the arm and the leg together. Getting too much here through that back arm, drop the weight if you want. Modification, make a fist with this hand underneath, press through, the, press through those knuckles, lift, lift. We go, little push, little push. Make sure the hips are square, don't sink into that supporting leg. We lift, this is it, 15 seconds. We push, we push, keep going, squeeze and squeeze. This is it, you have just 10, just nine, just eight, you have just seven, six, we've got five, Four, we've got three, two, one. Well done. Okay, we have to know no more wrist work. Bring those feet forwards. Bring your feet in line with your hips. You're gonna grab a hold of your weights. Send them to the side of yourself. Bring your hands under your thighs. You're gonna lower yourself down, back in towards that C curve that we did at the start of your workout, elbows wide. If this is enough for you, stay here and do single arms. If you want it harder, Grab those weights, and now you're gonna bring the weights together, open the elbows. Little drop, little lift, little drop, little lift, little down, little up. So you've got the side weights touching together, elbows open up towards the side, little down, little lift. All your cans, all your wine bottles, whatever you've got, and you know your arms are on fire. I know you're burning already, burning all over even, not already, you've been burning for the past 16 minutes, and <laughs> you're right down, lift up. Five. Ooh, you got four. You have three, then you're gonna drop the weight. Three more. We have two, then drop one weight. Last one. Drop now your right weight down. Reach this hand. We're gonna squeeze back, punch, back, punch. This is your advanced option. Make sure those hips are tucked in your C curve. Modified option. Bring the hand under the thigh. Twist turn, twist turn. You've got it, twist turn, punch, twist turn, punch, twist turn, punch. You have three more. You've got two, been a heart raiser today. The last one, punch the weight forwards, grab that weight, pick it up, drop down. Now we're gonna go up for those weights, lift, we lift. So shine the side of the weights together, lift those elbows to the side, make sure your shoulders are over the top of your knees and tuck your tail as much as you physically can. Give me seven, six, you're gonna drop the left weight in five, in four. We're repeating that same phrase in three, in two, in one, switch the weight, hand goes forwards. Bring it back, punch it forwards. As you bring the weight backwards, tuck the tail, Press that weight forwards. Modified option, this hand comes here into the thigh. Pick your option now. Make sure you are giving me all you've got because we only have one and a half minutes more to go. Squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach. You've got four, press. Three, look forward every time you come around. Two, press. Last one, press reach. Grab that weight, I know you're burning, grab that weight. Bring the weight, shoulders to the part. Tuck the tail, stay there. We go, tiny lift, tiny lift, tiny lift. Go eight, go seven. Stay in this position, but drop those, both those weights. In four, while wow, I'm burning, three, two, one. Drop the weights, you're gonna bring the hands under the thighs. We're gonna rock back, make sure your lower back is on your mat. And we are coming here into this round back position. Elbows are still lifted, chin into your chest. Inhale, as you exhale, can you get your head, neck, shoulders higher away from the floor? We're gonna send those legs away. 10 seconds, we're gonna cycle, let's go. We go 10, nine, 
Eight, grab the legs in seven, in six, grab the thighs in five, in four, grab the thighs in three, in two, in one, grab the thighs, head, neck, shoulders, lift higher. You've got five seconds here, then start cycling again. In three, in two, in one, let's go, switch, go switch. If you want the modified option, catch those legs. If you want, you can bring the hands behind the head, go six, go five, catch your thighs in four, in three, in two, in one, bring those legs back to that tabletop, Inhale as you exhale. You crept back down to the floor, so lift yourself up again. 20 seconds. We're gonna cycle together. Let's go. Cycle. Go cycle. Option here or option hands away. If you really want to step it up to your final 10 seconds, let's add that torso rotation. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Rotate. Go four. Go three. Go two. One. Ooh. Well done, drop both the feet down, turn the palms to the sky. It is tougher when you throw in those cardio heart rate raises. Breathe, inhale. Big breath, exhale. Allow your lower back to fall in towards the floor. Allow your heart to shine towards the sky. Lengthen your feet away from yourself. Reach your hands above your head, breathe in. Breathe, exhale, stretch the body as long as you possibly can. Maybe point through the toes, lengthen through the torso. And then draw both the knees in towards the chest, wrap the hands on top of your shins. And we're gonna curl into a ball today. Chin to the chest, curl up in towards the ball. Drop the head, neck, shoulders down, keep your left leg in, send your right leg away from yourself and roll that hip open. You can either stay here with the leg if you want to. You can send your right toe, left toes even up towards the sky and try and straighten the leg. If you're looking at me like, wow, Gabby, I cannot do that. Do not worry. Bring your hands underneath the knee and send the leg just like this in front of yourself. If you can't feel that, you need to rock the leg closer and bring the hands onto your calf and draw your toe in. Bend that leg, you're gonna bring the other knee in and send that other leg away from yourself. When you're in the stretch section of a class and your whole body's shaking, you know you've worked hard. <laughs> then send your toe up towards the sky and again, you can either grab the calf here or if you want, you can bring the hand under the thigh. One leg is always more flexible than the other. My left leg, which is your right leg right now, is definitely less flexible than the other leg. I always split on this leg. <laughs> You're gonna draw the knees in. Now draw both the knees towards your shoulders. Shine your pelvis high towards the sky and freely rock yourself side to side. Feel free to close the eyes. Try and get rid of any tension and stress you're holding on to. Rock side to side. And then rock yourself backwards. Rock yourself all the way up and forward. Send the feet long. Lift the hands high. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, fall forward. forward. Slowly roll yourself up, bring the feet round towards the back today, bring your knees towards me, and you're gonna tuck the toes under at this point, walk the hands to the feet, and then dip your hips down, then push them up towards the sky, and try and elongate through the knee joints, letting the head dangle nice and low down towards the floor. Any tension, stress you're holding onto again, let it fall out the crown of the head down towards your mat, towards your soft surface. Take a big bend through the knees, dip the hips down, slowly roll yourself all the way up through the vertebrae. So really thinking about the mobility of the spine and give me a big circle around those hands. Give me a big circle around with those hands. Give yourself a shoulder roll back. Give yourself two forwards. And then reach the hands towards the side. Scoop down like you're picking up a big bunch of leaves. And then exhale, throw them away. Reach the hands up. Bring the hands down through your fifth in towards your prayer. Feet under the hips, close the eyes. Roll the shoulders down. Bend through the knees, draw the belly button towards the spine. Inhale, be grateful for what your body can do. And exhale away in negativity. Give everything, I'm really relaxed now. Give everything a little shake, give yourself a little clap. Re-energize yourself, ready for the rest of your day or if you're going to bed right now. Fabulous, that's a great way to relax for the day. Also a good way to pick yourself up for the day. 
I will see you very soon as long as you hit that subscribe button. Like I said at the start, I upload brand new workouts every single week. Bye everyone.